Jai Hind, dear students, and today we are going to continue with the landscape of the soul. So we have already started the chapter, and uh, we'll first take a quick glance at whatever we have studied, and then we'll move further. All right, so let's start. So now we know about Wu Daozi, who was the uh, painter whom the emperor employed to make a painting on the wall of the palace. And what happened after that, you know, the painter disappeared in the foothills of the mountain, the door opened when he clapped and everything. So emperor was shocked by that scene. And the second, remember that we are talking about Chinese painting culture here. We are still we are talking about Chinese. Okay. We also will talk about European classical form of painting. Now we are talking about Chinese. And then next uh, next story that we studied was about a it's, it was about a dragon right and what was the story the story was that there was a painter in ancient China and the painter had drawn up a dragon a beautiful dragon lifelike dragon but there were no eyes that means the dragon had no eyes the painter had not painted the eyes of the dragon and then when people asked the painter why have you not you know painted the eye everything is beautiful but why leave the eye like that and that point the painter said if I draw or paint the eye of the dragon then the dragon will fly away this is this sounds ridiculous right but this is their culture this is what they study so this is also a part of their studying up so that's how the other painter did now let's take a look forward all right so this is uh, one story in 15th century antwerp a, a skilled blacksmith mary named quintin matches fell in love with a painter's daughter the father of the girl who would not accept a son-in-law in such a profession one day quintin went to the painter's studio secretly he painted a fly on the master's latest painting it was painted with delicate realism the painter took it for a real one he tried to hit it away now what happened is a blacksmith right you know a blacksmith a person who usually works with metal metal works all right so a blacksmith was in love with a painter's daughter now in that period in that period of the society what happened was blacksmith people were considered to be the lowest class and painters were considered to be on the upper high class people so painters were not supposed to marry blacksmiths right but they fell in love with each other the painter painter's daughter and the blacksmith so in order to get the woman of his life back what the blacksmith did the blacksmith one night he crept into the studio of the painter the girl's father uske studio mein wo chala gaya raat mein and then he drew up a painting jo painting usne banaya it was so vivid it was so real he had painted a fly a fly house fly uska wo art banaya tha house fly like if you see that would be like real image so next morning jab wo painter apne office mein aaya then he sees that there is a fly on the table waha pe ek fly hai ek makhi hai waha pe so what he does he tries to swat it away whenever we see fly what do we do with our hand we try to swat it away right with the gesture that's a gesture that we do jisse wo makhi waha se hot jayega right but in this case it never moved jab painter ne makhi ko aise bhagana cha painter the makhi is not moving why at that point he understood that oh this is a painting this is not a real house fly so at that point it struck in his mind that okay he is a blacksmith but still he is a very skilled craftsmanship he has a very skilled craftsmanship all right so this is how the concept of outsider art or art brought developed now these are those kind of people who don't have any formal training in painting no training no school nothing whatsoever but 
लेटर ऑन वेन दे ग्रो अप ओल्ड दे स्टार्ट ऑफ पेंटिंग बाई दम सेल्फ वो अपने आप सीखते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड आर्ट ब्रट और आउटसाइडर आर्ट जो पहले से सीख के नहीं आए है स्कूल में और ऑल दैट लेकिन फ्यूचर में वो सीख आप अपने आप वो सीख लेते सो दिस वॉज द हाउस फ्लाई स्टोरी वॉज फ्रॉम यूरोप राइट यूरोपियन कल्चर सो इन दिस स्टोरी वॉट वी कैन नो इज वी हैव सीन सम रियलिटी और राइट अ फ्लाई ऑन अ टेबल इट्स पॉसिबल येस ऑफकोर्स इट्स पॉसिबल इट्स रियलिटी बट अ ड्रैगन इज इट पॉसिबल नो दैट इज विविड इमेजिनेशन नाउ सी द चाइनीज कल्चर इट्स टूवर्ड्स विविड इमेजिनेशन एवरीथिंग इज पॉसिबल नाउ यूरोपियन कल्चर इज सेंग एवरीथिंग इज नॉट पॉसिबल वॉट इज पॉसिबल इज ओनली दोज थिंग्स दोज आर रियल जो सच हो सकता है यूरोपियन कल्चर उसी में फोकस करता है चाइनीज उसमें फोकस करता है जहाँ पे जो जो भी हो सकता है कुछ भी हो सकता है मैजिकल मोमेंट्स इट इट यू नो बिलीव्स लाइक दैट सो विद दिस वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ आर स्टोरी एंड देन लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड लेट्स सी दैट इफ वी हैव सम और राइट नाउ अ वेस्टर्न पेंटिंग रिप्रोड्यूस एन एक्चुअल व्यू आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू वेस्टर्न पेंटिंग क्या करता है जो एक्चुअली है उसी का पेंटिंग बनाता है और उसी का इमेज माइंड में सेट करके बनाता है बट चाइनीज पेंटर डज नॉट चूज अ सिंगल व्यू पॉइंट चाइनीज पेंटर क्या करता है वो एक ही बात सोच के नहीं पेंटिंग बनाता है इधर मैजिकल माउंटेन उधर दूसरा रिवर उधर सी इधर ड्रैगन विच आर नॉट पॉसिबल राइट सो दिस इज मैजिकल काइंड ऑफ आप जहाँ से भी अप्रोच कर सकते हो यू कैन लुक एट द पेंटिंग एंड से ओके मे बी दैट ड्रैगन केम आउट ऑफ द सी एंड मे बी द सी ड्राउंड द ड्रैगन एंड देन द ड्रैगन अगेन केम बैक टू द सर्फेस ऑफ द सी एंड ऑल दैट जो आप थ्योरी अपना लगा सकते हैं वो उसमें लगा सकते हैं ओके थाउजेंड्स ऑफ थियोरीज यू कैन वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट और दैट इज द थिंग वॉन्टेड बाई चाइनीज पेंटर्स दे वॉन्ट देयर ऑडियंस टू से दैट वॉट एवर दे हैव इन द माइंड इज ऑल्सो डिपेक्टिंग द पेंटिंग लेकिन जो यूरोपियन फॉर्म है उसका सिर्फ एक ही होता है ओनली देर इज वन दे वॉन्ट द ऑडियंस टू थिंक इन द एग्जैक्ट सेम मैनर वाइल द पेंटिंग सॉरी वाइल द पेंटर पेंट्स द पेंटिंग वॉट एवर इज इन हिस माइंड वो होना चाहिए उसके ऑडियंस के माइंड पे भी जो पेंटर सोच रहा है वो डायग्राम बनाते वक्त पेंटिंग बनाते वक्त वही सोच वो उसके उन उन लोगों के भी ब्रेन में मन में होना चाहिए कि ये पेंटिंग किसके बारे में है और ये पेंटिंग क्यों है ऐसा दैट इज दैट इज द यूरोपियन फॉर्म एंड इन चाइनीज देर इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सनसुई विच मीन्स माउंटेन वाटर सो दे फॉलो दिस काइंड ऑफ thing which is called san shui which transfers to mountain water now the together they represent the what landscape so mountain is yang while the water is yin the interaction of yin and yang is a fundamental notion of taoism there is a third essential element the middle void where the interaction takes place This can be compared with the yogic practice of pranayam breath in retain breath out the suspension of breath of the void where meditation occurs the middle void is essential so yin and yang san sui these terms are important so when together when the words together are put you know in a in a certain way then it turns out to be landscape like landscape painting it means landscape the mountain is yang and the yang and the water is yin mountain ko kya bolte hai yang and water ko kya bolte hai yin so the interaction is a fundamental notion of taoism what the taoism means dao taoist we have already talked about the painter wu daozi after that it started now these are all folk tale stories okay everything folk tale stories now nowadays you know in china in in those kind of uh, culture they learn about these people these painters wu daozi and all that they learn about them 
they also learn about these kind of stories what happened it is a part of their culture so mm, that's that and okay uh, we, let's talk about the void space here we said there is a third essential element the middle void the middle void why is there a middle void a middle void is there so that interaction takes place interaction between what that means interaction between whatever is there in the painting and nothing can happen without it if the void is not there wo painting kam kuch matlabi nahi hota hence the white unpainted space is very important in chinese landscape so jo bhi painting hota hai chinese landscape usme ek void hona necessary hai void means unpainted space unpainted white space जो जिस जगह में पेंटिंग नहीं हुआ है वो है वाइट मैन फाइंड्स अ फंडामेंटल रोल इन दिस स्पेस बिटवीन हेवन एंड अर्थ नाउ दिस इज आल्सो अ फॉर्म ऑफ फैंटेसी दैट दे लिव ही बिकम्स द मीडियम ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन टू पोल्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इज प्रेजेंस इज एसेंशियल ही इज द आई ऑफ द लैंडस्केप सो इन दिस वॉइड वॉट हैपन्स इज मैन फाइंड्स अ रोल नाउ लेट्स से दैट जो पेंटिंग में वाइट स्पेस है वो वॉइड हो गया उसमें एक मैन होता है और राइट सो लेफ्ट साइड राइट साइड अप डाउन जो भी उस वॉइड के आसपास है वो सारे चीज़ को रिलेट करने के लिए और कनेक्ट करने के लिए वो वॉइड वहाँ पे होता है एज अ सिस्टम ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन व्हाट हाफ पार्ट ऑफ द पेंटिंग इज सेइंग एंड वॉट द अदर हाफ पार्ट ऑफ द पेंटिंग इज सेइंग सो द वॉइड इज देयर टू डिस्टिंग बिटवीन द टू and then simultaneously connect the meanings of the two sides so that's it and art brought or raw art i told you already that means outsider art people who don't have any formal training but they still can make pretty well art so for india mm, the work of 80 year old nick chand is india's biggest con contribution to outsider art He has made a garden sculpted with stone and recycled material. It is known to the world today as Rock Garden at Chandigarh. His art has been recognized as an outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make while he lives his dream. So, for India, we have a, an exceptional painter as an outsider. Why outsider? Because he had no formal training in painting. So he has done something. exceptional which is known as rock garden he has sculpted it with uh, stone and recycled material which is of course good for the nature as well you can see a picture here this is the rock garden all right so students i want you to do the question answer for this chapter from the book and your copies must be up to date next class we will start a new chapter thank you